Hi hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for the next episode of the decorating of the envelopes. I'm very glad you're joining me again. It makes me, always makes me very happy uh, with all your likes and comments. And uh, yeah, let's continue because I was running out of time. I didn't do anything to this because I want to cover that. Not that it's ugly because it yeah. It, it it would be fine anyway, but I want to do something on there. Uh, I thought I did something. Yeah, that's a bit raggedy. I thought I changed something a bit. No, no, I haven't got a clue. This one is what we already did in the in the last episode but i wasn't finished with that envelope so i'm going to put it to the to the side this all a bit in frame it always looks nice i want this it's a bit shiny that's not what i like but i i like the color it's a bit yeah beige apricot and uh, it's yeah, not old. It's just uh, I think from AliExpress. Sometimes I I also like some variety in all kinds of laces. Again, I want it raggedy. Uh, let's see how I thought I wanted it. Oh yeah, this just one in the middle because this. I thought it was a bit strange. Yeah, then you have that bit peeking out. And if I do it like this, this a, a bit in the middle, doesn't have to be exact. Then you see a bit hanging here, here and here. Because it can be a bit overlapping. Let's see if it wants to tear here also. Pretty okay. And let's see if I can discover the right or the wrong side. It it shines on both sides. I think this can press here like that. Oh ah it tore crooked. It's all good. But I can manipulate it a bit because here I want to manipulate it also because I don't want it sticking out too much. Uh, so it, in, it doesn't, uh, it mustn't interfere with, uh, with the flap. Mm, let's see how I'm going to do that. Yeah, it's, it's crooked but I, you know, I don't really mind because that's the top so it can be and, and I can also manipulate it a bit like that so I'm going to oh no this is the right way now I can see it in the in the embroidered lines around the so then the yeah, it will be fine. I can uh, fiddle around with it. Mm, I'm thinking what I want to use. Yeah, this is also from oh, from uh, from Action. So yeah, you can't buy it everywhere. But the Crea Pot, uh, I use it sometimes for fabrics. And I really like it, but I don't want to have too much, and I'm, I'm going to smear it out. It just has to stick, and hopefully not see through too much uh, on the other side of the paper. A bit quick. 
That. This is okay. I'm gonna get a bit wrinkled here. Here it can stay sticking out. That's not a problem. And I think I have to. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I can flip it over. And just with a little dab, glue it down. Like that. Stay. It doesn't want to stay. Oh, that was a lot. That wasn't necessary. When I'm filming this, it's still uh, nice summery weather in the Netherlands. I don't know if that will be the case when this uh, <laughs> goes live, when you're seeing this. But for now, it's, uh, it's good. And tomorrow there's... Uh, uh, it's yeah, kind of the memorial day of the Second World War. And uh, there are all kinds of activities in, uh, in Ede, uh, a city uh, yeah, near Ede. Uh, a lot of happened there in, uh, in, in the Second World War and uh, paratroopers are uh, parachuting uh, down tomorrow and all kinds of uh, military uh, uh, our vehicles will be like an exposition. They will be there. You can uh, see them. So yeah, it's quite a happening. And because it's 80 years ago, they have yeah extra uh, expositions and activities and music, all kinds of things. So we have to uh, drive by car. It's a one and a half hour drive from where we live. Yeah, I really like this. Just softly, a bit extra peeking out. Well, the color is difficult. So we have to uh, start early and um, uh, a drive about 5.30, 5 or 6 o'clock we have to leave. Otherwise it will be already so crowded. Uh, yeah, to park your car and to get to where the first parachutes will uh, will drop. And, uh, so it's early rising <laughs> for me. Uh, anyway, because uh, my husband uh, always gets up at uh, five five twenty because he starts driving at six uh, to work. Otherwise, it's he's just constantly in a traffic jam, and then it's yeah, the roads are full of cars, but it's doable. So for him, it's a it's a normal day. It's it will be Saturday tomorrow, but uh, if it was a work day, it would be the same to get up. And uh, if he he's because he is a volunteer at the military. He often has to work on Saturday too, so for him that's not uh, nothing new. I took a, a piece of yeah fabric. I don't know what you call it uh, in English, but it's very sturdy fabric because I want it as a top tuck. And this ah now you can see it not as as good because it was. I intended it to, that's why I ruffled it and it's yeah, naturally uh, bending over. So I thought, ah, oh, that looks nice on, on this side, but I didn't uh, think of that I wanted to lace also, but it will be peeking out on top. And uh, 
now I'm only thinking do I want it yeah I want it blue there of course um, and then here or here or both but then it will be very tight to put something in I'm going to first do a bead there yeah, I'm going to uh, take the art glitter glue because it's a uh, fine tip and it will be a bit easier and I'm not going to smear it out now because this fabric is pretty thick like I said and um, there will be all kinds of stuff on top of it because this will be on top of it Yeah, so tomorrow will be, uh, will be a nice day. The weather will be good, uh, they say. And this really has to uh, stick down. And of course, I have to repunch the hole. Now, let's see if I have something. If I stick that in there, yeah, it will hold. So I will leave the glue there. But I think I'm going to put a bit of glue here. And then we punch the hole. Maybe until the hole, that's maybe a bit easier. Yeah, it will be a nice day out tomorrow. And then grab some lunch there. That's always nice. Go out to lunch. I see in the Ooh. it's staring already. I have no idea if it will, will stay. I have to hmm. no, I will see how it holds because it, it isn't dry yet, so that will be. Uh, the difference also and I already heated my hot tool my um, heat tool <laughs> yeah do I know how I want this so yeah a bit like that Let's see, I'm going to position it on here a bit. I like to see the ruffles. I don't mind. Put a bit in an angle. Yeah. And this very old teddy tethered piece I want it on here. Now you won't see much, but I want this peeking out. But you can see it a bit through uh, with all the, the ruffles but I want to see enough of this then that will be on here so again you can see a bit peeking through but mainly I wanted the scallops like that do I want this a bit gathered no I think I'm going to leave it and maybe let it hang a bit more there. Yeah, and this I want to uh, crumble up a bit. Yeah, what am I going to do that? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put some glue here on, on those pieces. Let's see if that works. I don't want to glue it completely shut. Oh yeah, not shot, but uh, not completely uh, stuck down. It, it makes uh, lace very stiff if you do. And now this is just uh, loose. Now I can stick this underneath. I don't know if I want the hot glue here. 
like that. There. And let's see if I can position it a bit the way I want this. Maybe gather this a bit like that. No, you won't see it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Adapt there. No. I do need this. And this is spraying. I like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. How does it look on this side? All kinds of stuff peeking out, yes. Yeah, this is the right side. Again, a bit, yeah. And this one with the button, but I want it crumpled up a bit. Maybe have that going that way. No. Maybe a bit higher. No, I'm going to put it down here, and then hopefully we can crinkle it up a bit like this, so that the button can go in there. And that's peeking out there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. A bit here and a bit there is probably enough. Yeah. I don't know if it's really peeking out, but I love it. And this on here. And I don't really see that. Yeah. Let's see where I want this a bit. Not on my fingers. I saw with the when I was editing the last video, I saw that I was a couple of times I was a bit out of frame. I'm so, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm so busy with what I'm doing that I'm not really paying attention to the to the screen. I have a TV screen. Mm, yeah, it's stuck. No, you can't see this <laughs> really peeking through that it's stuck. Yeah, it's okay. I want the button there. Yeah. Let's see if that will work, because I had a, have a thread in there. So it makes it a bit bumpy. Maybe I can move this to be a bit here. A pretty nice amount. Of glue and then hold this a bit. Ooh, really like it. Yeah. Let's try our paper again. Yeah, that will do. Yay! Beautiful. Love it. Also with the, the beige and, and white and cream color. And here this one. Yeah. Beautiful. Put that a bit to the side to dry. Um, the fabric goes. Now I'm going to put it here so it can really dry. Hopefully, I remember that it has to go there. Then the beautiful lady. And I want a belly band on this piece, so it covers up a bit of the, yeah, it makes this side a bit interesting. 
and I want this uh, in the middle. So I don't, then I don't get the flower. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this. I have no idea if it tears, so let's hope so. Yeah, it's very old uh, fabric because here you can see it's already uh, very, th it's very thin altogether, but uh, with tearing it, <laughs> it tore very easily. And oh, not going very well here. Maybe if I try it on this side now, because the first part went well. Now I still have a beautiful border left. Well, I checked my last video because I was concerned about the lighting, but it was okay. And now again, it, it looks very dark uh, on my TV screen. Mm. I don't mind a bit of the fraying, but uh, I don't want, yeah, this I don't like. It has to be a bit uh, smaller. <laughs> More difficult to tear than uh, than I thought. Yes, let's see. Ah, I wanted to tear it, but I could have um, cut it with uh, my pinking shears. But that's okay. I'm going to do it for the the bottom and the top. Let's see. Now it makes this side a bit interesting because this is uh, both from the image, but yeah, there's hardly anything here to see. A bit of the hat and the dress. Let's see. So it has to be. I like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to just cut it here. Maybe I can use that little piece somewhere. Uh, I'm going to leave it as thin as it is because I yeah, I like that effect. And it might be a bit fiddly to uh, put something in, but that doesn't matter because it's just an extra and I don't mind. So let's see how it's going to be. So it's a bit in the middle, one, one, yeah, like that. And I know where I have to put my glue. Shift it a bit like that, and I'm making it a, a bit thicker. So it really uh, adheres, and this can st stick out, that's, that's fine. Let's see on the other side. It's yeah, you can see just the the teeth. <laughs> I always like that things are sticking out. Okay. Make that a bit straighter, but no, I, and this isn't straight. I didn't cut that completely straight, but it's it's okay. Let's see like this again here a bit wider. Yeah, I hope it sticks on the on the edge tape. I have no idea. 
I'm going to pull it a bit so it's tight. Oh, I thought I'm seeing something strange here, but it's the tea bag. I forgot it was there. Now it's seeping through a bit, but the fabric is also um, yeah, not, not completely clean, I think. I don't know if you're seeing that, but yeah, in, in some spots it was already in the fabric. Here is some, oh, some ink. So that's okay. Ah, like that. Very subtle. Well, it's okay. Yeah, and it will, of course, the many times I'm going to put something in here or take it out, it will fray more, but that's fine. Yeah, like that. Okay. Ah, and then I think this one can go back in. And here, yeah, I don't want, yeah, I don't want to do anything to it. Here is a bridesmaid, but yeah, I don't know. Because when I'm working in the journal, journaling in, the, in this, I can always uh, yeah, add something. It, it doesn't have to be completely uh, filled with all kinds of things. Ah, I wanted to try if I like this in, the, in between here, but I forgot and that's fine. Um, yeah, sometimes a journal is never finished because later, and I don't want to um, really think, ah, what I, if I don't have an idea what I want to do, I, I rather leave it like this for now. And later when I have a nice idea, I'm very happy with, then I can add it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be all at once. It's different when you when you want to sell a journal. This is really terrible. It's completely thin. <laughs> and this, oh, I love this. And I can't remember if I found it. I didn't find it this year. Uh, it's a color, of course, you can see that. Um, and I want it on here like this. So I'm going to cut half of this um, I don't know if it will if it will tear I want to uh, don't want to cut into the flower so I'm going to try is it high enough if I tear it just in the fabric hmm. it's not enough I want this sticking out that's okay the, the point but Oh, it's, it will be fun. I have to stretch it a bit so I don't wreck the beautiful... Uh, ah, it goes crooked. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I don't think that will... Ah, also crooked. And it tore very easily, so it's completely fragile. Yeah. Then it will be a bit smaller, and that's all. <laughs> I had that a couple of times also with other lace. I want to, yeah, stretch it a bit to um, to flatten it where it's a bit bubbly. You see, there's a fold, and then it completely tears immediately. It's uh, it's broken. I want that hanging over, just these little scallopy things. I want that hanging over, so I'm going to put glue here because it's it covers the complete. Um, yeah, it will cover it completely. And now I'm thinking if I want to use the, the glue gun or the completely threading. Yeah, because now this dries very quickly, so 
I have less time to fool with a little bit and then things normally don't work if you have not enough time. Okay. I think that went well. On this side, yeah. I don't know exactly where I am in the blue. I want to stretch it just a bit. And yeah, that's uh, sticking out down here. Yeah, you like that. Um, and here, what I want, how I want this, do I want it loose, no I can pull it a bit like this, yeah, okay. Was it a bit high? Oh, I got stuck against the book. I don't know if I can move it up a bit. So, no, I'm, I'm too late. Here I can still gather it a bit. If this is stuck down. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now only to decide what I want to do on top. And it's also not a very large piece you can stick in here, but, but it's okay. It's just for some papers to, uh, to stick something in. That one didn't stick like that. This one I want straightish. Yeah. And then maybe this a bit gathered. Yeah, just a bit. Not completely straight. Let's see if that wants to work. Yeah, it does. I think I want a little piece of lace there, so I'm going to look in my box with scraps. Oh, <laughs> this I I completely forget every time I want to type this on uh, on vellum and put that uh, here in here also. But I have to get out the typewriter and I keep forgetting it. Let's see if I have. A cute, maybe vintage one. Yeah, it is. Ah. I quite like that because I did more of it beige. It's a, it's a piece of a larger uh, thing. It's the right side, and it's the, yeah, it has to be. It's exactly that size. So. Not thinking any longer. Put some glue here. Yeah. 
Ja, ik kan het. Dat gaat ze mee in de in de glue. Ja. Zo, so, finally, a video that is not completely super long. Uh, oh, I have to uh, put my uh, safety pin in the in the belly band, pink belly band. We did in the last video. But also keep forgetting that. And I want to do that off camera because I'm afraid that it will be difficult because it's very fragile uh, because of the rusting. Oh, I love it. Where did this go? Do I remember? Really? I think here. I think it was here. Okay. Oh, I have to. Uh, Ah, this is also, maybe I can just make the hole again uh, in the, in the white fabric. Let's see if that is possible. It did cut through here. Let's see if that works. Mm, and not through the lace. Mm, that means I still have to do to take things away so it looks a bit more nice on camera. Yeah, like that. Love this one. Ah, I can. Mm, Where did I put my ah? I was looking for my scissors because I can cut into this. That's not a problem. So that will fold around the thing, and that will yeah, that will be okay. Yeah, let's flip through it because now we have some time. Everything that's been done until now, you can see how chunky it gets. Huge. Here I put a, a card. I will be selecting more images uh, and backing them so I can write on them and they will go in the envelopes or clip to them just to add some extra interest. This one I love also. Yeah, I love it all. Yeah, it's because you choose what you what you really like. I was thinking I was gifted this and I was thinking of gluing it here just for some extra interest and I can still see all the beauty or here it's not that much that I will see there and then that will hold the flap but I don't like the white on the white that much so I have to still have to do something here for the flap so I can choose a different one that's maybe an option because I got more. Like the green one. This is very, and this is a bit different thing. I like this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to yeah copy that with uh, with another image. I like that. Oh, I'm going to put it there so I'll remember. The image, the cute uh, binding, put that to the side, it's distracting, and a little image of a little decoration here. This one had the tuck spot, and I put this in here. I made that a long time ago, it flips out as writing space, and I thought I, it goes color wise with the blue. Here the nice fabric, the flip up and my name uh, accentuated on the back. There is a pocket and the closure with the wax seal. This one I left as is until now. I maybe something here, I don't know. This one, it holds the flap, hidden paper clip. 
pocket. I have to do something there that will be uh, done. This one with the swivel. Love that. I think I'm going to leave that. It's so beautiful, uh, handwritten and hand drawn. This needs something, I think. Yeah, and otherwise it's nice. It's a vintage envelope. Here I want a safety pin like that. That will be a fiddly thing. This just flips under there. The quote holds the flap closed and in there is writing space, beautiful embroidered uh, monograms. Here I can tuck a, a journal card in or an image. This one from today. Beautiful. This one I have no idea what I want there. So I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Here again. Maybe the flap needs something, but they don't really all need something to hold the flap closed. But because there's space here, they, there could be a decoration. A beautiful image will go in here. Love this. And the flap is pretty okay. I don't think it will be a problem. Otherwise, I can always put um, a Velcro dot there. I think I will do that because it will bulk up if I put my uh, journaling in here. The same as the agenda page. I don't, yeah, I want to do something with embossing uh, pieces, so that will be maybe there. Beautiful image, and here it, it really blends in with the envelope. I like that. And I don't mind that that is, yeah, loose. I don't think it's a problem. And then the gorgeous pocket. Oh, love it. And then this, yeah, it's already too small. It's all kinds sticking out. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah, mostly I have a lot on the bottom uh, sticking out. I always, I don't know why that is, but I, yeah, often I have that. Beautiful. I'm very happy uh, with it until now. Uh, I'm still debating if I want to do another uh, craft with me and yeah, some more decoration because yeah, of course it it isn't finished, but uh, yeah. If there is not, uh, I, I, I will watch how much interest there is for this episode. And if there is a lot of interest, then uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll make it another uh, episode. And then, yeah, all the envelopes will have something and I can do a flip through. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm really appreciative that you're here. Uh, Please give a like and a comment. Uh, it will help my channel to grow. And yeah, I love making the videos, you know. So have a very great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.